What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I want to test something today that I've been eager to test for a long time. I've gotten lots of comments from people whenever I do videos on these um, thermoelectric coolers or Peltier modules, Peltier modules, however you want to pronounce it. I've gotten in trouble both ways. But uh, I've gotten uh, lots of comments uh, talking about a concept called cascading, um, which is basically where you put two of these back to back. You sandwich them together, you have you know, uh, the hot side touching the cold side of the other, and, and theoretically it's supposed to cool better than just one module by itself. So today I want to test that concept. I'm go I've got a new shipment of five more of these 12706 thermoelectric cooler modules. And what I'm going to do, I've got this, uh, this active heat sink here, and I've got some, some test equipment over here. I've, I'm going to be testing the, uh, the amp draw here, the, the amount of current that we're going to be using, because that's going to be important. Uh, we've got a infrared thermometer that's going to be able to tell how cold the cold side is getting of this. I've got my uh, power supply over here and that's pretty much it. That's all we're going to need. So um, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this Peltier module to this heat sink. I just cleaned it off with, uh, with uh, alcohol. Um, so everything's nice and clean. I'm going to use this thermal compound to connect this Peltier module to this heat sink and then we're going to get some base measurements of how much current is being drawn and how, mu and, and how cold the cold side gets after a specific period of time. After I get the baseline measurements what we will do is I'll open up one of these brand new modules. We will sandwich it to the uh, the other, the, this Peltier that's going to be on here, um, and then we will take some more measurements of the amount of current that is being consumed and, and how cold the cold side gets. And then we'll do some calculations and some analysis on whether it was beneficial or the pros and cons of this and so forth. Okay, so we're set up for the baseline test. Um, I'm going to use this thermometer and the clamp meter to measure. Um, I'm going to actually, uh, I'm going to turn on the, the power supply and I'm going to count to 30 and then I'm going to measure both of them and, and that will be our result for the baseline. So here we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and measure cold side, 39.5 to 40, let's just call it 40, and we are drawing 6 amps of power. So that's our baseline. Now we're going to go ahead and add some more um, compound to the top of this and sandwich another Peltier module on top. Okay, I think I finally got all of the issues solved here. Um, I put this on top of a roll of duct tape to give uh, to space it from the desk. Um, so don't worry about that, that's just to kind of I was using the, um, some other things to prop it up and it wasn't working very well. Um, and then now I have all of the wires directly connected to the power supply. So there's no little tiny alligator clip wires in the middle. And it looks like we're getting better amperage in my quick little on off test. So let's go ahead and start her up, count to 30 and then we'll take our measurements. Okay, so it started out at about 11 amps and kind of stabilized at 9.5 and 
we got down to about 31 degrees Celsius, uh, or Fahrenheit, I'm sorry, was the lowest that I saw with the, the uh, thermometer. So uh, I'll go ahead and shut this off and we'll discuss. Okay, so what did we learn here? Um, this test is consistent with the results of other tests that I've seen, other data that I've seen. So while there are flaws with this test and things that I could have done better, certainly, um, it is the, the result is consistent with, with other data out there. And what that tells us is that cascading is great if you care about top performance and don't care about efficiency or power consumed because when we were cascading this we were using 11 nine and a half to 11 amps and we only dropped about eight or nine degrees we got down to 31 degrees celsius or fahrenheit was the lowest that i saw with the cascading and we got to 39 and a half 40 with just the single module so efficiency wise it's much better to just use one module um, however if you like i said if you have as much power as you want, you're not worried about efficiency, then cascading is the way to go. And I would bet that if I had used a, a stronger heat sink and clamped them down a little bit better, a couple things like that, we might have squeezed out another degree or two out of the cascading uh, setup. But anyway, like I said, this is consistent with other data you can find out there. So I think the test was valid. It does can kind of confirm in my mind what I already suspected. Um, it definitely has its place, but, uh, but it's probably not something that I'm going to do because I am always concerned with efficiency and using as little power for the, for the most benefit as I can. So anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Thank you to my viewers and subscribers for your support. If you liked what you've watched, please consider donating to my Patreon campaign at www.patreon.com slash ldsreliance. All donations will be used to help create bigger, better videos for your viewing pleasure.